talk with DJ Cappuccino. I started to want to go to school at the age of four. I was denied by that principal, but uh, at four. Hey, I'm a hey, I'm at the age of four. At the age of four. I didn't know what will sell out the revolution. And you I raised him from the age of nine. I can't you know, leave him to You've go. seen him grow. You've I've seen him, seen him grow yeah. behind my back. When I was there, I employed three registered engineers. What I said is that nobody is going to craft a document outside this. Come 29th. Come the 29th. We're going to double that. The ground is red. It's fertile. The right. ground is red. We are not people of the social media and all that. We are on the ground. We are speaking to them. They are our friends. We can expose Inside. them. Inside. They are with you. They are with us. I'm saying They are wearing the red. With, these they are wearing red, the red inside their head. Just talk with DJ Cappuccino. Need to refresh and unwind? Come to Wild Things at Meropa Casino and Conference Center where you get to enjoy quad bikes, swimming pools, water park, restaurants, kids games, reptile park, camping, birds park, and many other activities. Welcome to another episode of Just Talk with DJ Cappuccino. Today, uh, I'm with someone who doesn't even need introduction, especially if you understand the politics of South Africa and also the politics of Limpopo province. Uh, I'm with Lawrence Mapolo, who's a prominent political figure associated with economic freedom fighters, a leftist political party in South Africa, a leader within the EFF. Mapolo is part of the party's efforts to address issues such as economic inequality, land reform, the fight against corruption. His role involves mobilizing support, formulating policies, and representing EFF's ideal objectives and various cap capacities. But we cannot omit to speak about where uh, Lawrence Mapolo comes from. He's um, a person who grew up in the ANC and has serious footprints in the African National Congress. The first black mayor in Polokwane municipality. I think that's something very historic, but he's a man of many, many talents. And I think history of uh, having a conversation with a man like him can take us days, but we'll try to sum it up in almost an hour or two or so. Welcome to Just Talk with DJ Capuchino. My pleasure, DJ Capuchino. What's up? I, I was supposed to say, Dr. Man. Hey, eh? I'm, I'm crazy to reach that stage to say, Dr. That's tough. I would love also to, to reach that stage, but yeah. hey, it's really tough. And I can imagine with a person who's uh, busy like you. Yeah. I mean, busy like you. No, we're trying. How is it? Oh, it's, uh, I would say it's more challenging currently because... You see, moving from the political environment of about 30 years and getting into a real, real revolution of economic freedom in our lifetime, yeah. it's not just an easy thing. Remember, we're fighting those that have been entrenched in, in, the, uh, in the economy for our country for many years. Hey. And, uh, you know, to fight such capitalist need real uh, revolutionaries and visionary leaders true. Who, who can be able to short circuit that era that failed uh, the ANC to deliver. I think we'll come to that phase. Yeah. But right now, if you can take us back to Man Mushimanyana, man. <laughs> you know, take us back to where yeah. you come from, where you grew yeah. up, if you have fondest memories. And also, uh, we're interested in what shaped your politics. What brought your political consciousness? But Hoganore, Fasora, we want viewers to understand where you come from, to understand the person sitting here, who I regard as a legend, mm. if we had to regard people as legends in politics. Mm. Yeah. No, nah, I'm, I'm a boy from Ramalevo. It's about 140 kilometers from Polokwane, yeah. a place called 
Les Fontaine in in English ka so tobare ke siku ke mo kala na ya ka yo je bona and uh, i'm born from a family of christians and my father was a renowned pastor and later bishop of apostolic church and my mom She's a lady who talk about Tswana go to Kwe. Is it where you got the orator I, I, thing? I, absolutely, yeah. I hope so. <laughs> and uh, my mom, she's from Botswana. You see, mm. I, I would say she's the one, really, who propelled me, especially because of the hardship. Mm. Remember, she was not allowed uh, not to have uh, an ID of South Africa. And uh, when we live from Loberg, to Botswana, I was still young, he, about two years, three years. I was not, you know, they were not allowing her to come back in South Africa. <laughs> we left, then I was forced to Aparama Bay. She was Botswana during the time when she was denied to come back to meet her family and her husband. You had to stay a bit with her. I have to stay back there with her. And later they said, okay, fine. If he wants to go to South Africa, take the child and you remain in Botswana because you are a Botswana citizen. And the mother South Africa, they were denying her, or no, you can't come to South Africa. The only South African is this young man. And it, it was tough. Uh, remember, uh, during that time, it, it was Kinakuya Umkondo also, you know, mm crisscrossing the country through Botswana. Mm. No, for the first time before my mom died, I've known Ore. We came back illegally into the country. At a young age. They, At that they age. Expose you to that. And, 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 but I, 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 in the second round after liberation, she took me the same way again. Same route. Same route. Uh, I remember when I was driving jet and I go mm. about to the park, but I'm saying, she she made me now to become aware of the political situation in the country. Mm. And uh, we came to Sishiro in 1965, around 11 February. That thing persisted. Now you are a boy who... Now understands. I'm a boy, about uh, now six, mm. seven years. I started the school early myself at six years. I was fortunate enough. Now, my mom didn't work. And my father was just a pure laborer. And uh, my mom was not allowed to work in South Africa. No, you can't work. Mm. Uh, uh, because Utlatsa Maya, and when I was, because you know, your neighbors, whom my baba and my baba go the kitchen, domestic oh. workers, you know, but I was in Kromo, something. The leftover, you know, some of them Now, Now you get, now I don't have that uh, luxury to have those things because my mom, the only thing, Ita Mumusha Kuhai, was a yellow melee. The van of police will come to my house, stop there. That was the life that, uh, you know, at an early age. And can you imagine what it does to a young boy? Now it killed me because, you know, you know, for then, you see, because, but I'm telling you, I school soon, and I tell you, but they already faded, but fuck up, police, yeah, shine. Because, you know, we didn't have. Anything. My father was just a pure laborer. My mom was not working. And life was not easy. We were four of us at home. Mm. But we persuaded. Uh, you know, that was life. We, up until now, at around 1969, remember I was still young. Mm. There was this thing at the bound to stance. Yes. Uh, around uh, 1969, now, uh, this Kuaran uh, Hoffs and those former uh, ministers, you know, they will come to our township to come and uh, bless this man called Patudi by then. I mean, uh, so she was old, ne? Yes, she was old. I, I came to see in 1965. My father, my father was a, a plumber. Mm. A plumber, the whole of Zone 1, the one who had been doing plumbing there mm. as a laborer. In early GG, it was called GG. Now, those today, yes, this is your ETLH, your community, but... So she was GG. Even the two zones, zone one and zone two, they didn't want to lay GG. At an aerial uh, uh, photograph, you can yes. see what it is. Yes. GG. Now, but in 1969, when uh, this uh, 
regime of minority, a blessed thing of Bantu stands is when mm. my mom started to tell me, well, how can you go and celebrate? I remember my father went and I don't know about my brothers because I remained back with my mom, paying solidarity to her. Mm. She, she, she said to me, it is quite unfortunate. How can you celebrate a government this and you go um, pa, pa, uh, pa, uh, pa, uh, uh, How can you go? Oh, oh, she, she can't get employment because she doesn't have documents. She doesn't have documents. There and she no... can't walk, walk freely. No, she, she can't, she can't, walk can't in produce town. dompers. No, she can't walk in town. In town, she might be arrested. Fortunately enough, those that were bringing her home was better. Because I can see it. It's not like going to Botswana and not coming back. Yes. You see? And now, she told me that, no, look, man, it is difficult for us to come and celebrate this government, this dummy government, which is celebrated. It was in 1969 when they introduced Bandu Stands. Yes. And, and that thing stayed with me for the rest of my life. It left a stamp. It left something. And not only that stamp of saying my mom was, you know, the high chief. But you knew that the society you live in, something... It's not right. Something's not right. Something was not right. And I hated the white men. Mm. Yeah, I just hated the white men because those yellow males were driven by them. Now thinking that this white man is denying my mom to bring me the cromola from the kitchen. You grow up angry with hate. No, with that thing, you understand. And uh, it, it grown up until I, I became a young student. Uh, no, I didn't start there. You know, I remember that the old man is dead, who was a principal, down in the bushes in uh, Amalabo. Yes. You know, I started to want to go to school at the age of four. I was denied by the principal, but uh, at four. Hey, I'm at age of four. At age of four. It's there. It was recorded in SABC when I was uh, interviewed. Radicalism. It started there, you know. I fought that old man, eh? hey, Malesel. Hey, 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 hey. He went, took me home. And they uh, spoke to my parents. Hey, this man is fighting me. At, four. at age of four, I started want to go to the reason why I started school at the age of six. You see, I, I don't know what inspired me, but uh, I remember when I recall back, I didn't turn over like a soap soap or what. Mm. And now that forced me, or no, I just go to school, you'll gaul. <laughs> now, I mean, we're laughing, Mara. You think about it, it's, it's, it's reality. Yeah. No, it's reality. That's yeah. the life that I've born within, mm. and I can't, and there's no any other life. I'll be lying. And uh, 1969, it passes. I, I grow with that mentality to say this white people doesn't want my mom. My mom was struggling at home. I'm trying to Ukraine, or get an form one. I got a bunch of people who are going to get a ratio. I got a bunch from form one up until me, JC. By then, I've done JC, remember, in standard six myself. Um, of that generation. But you are. But you are, bro. And uh, I remember when we were at Hobukana, there were two classes, both in the morning and in the afternoon. Now my brother will go in the morning because in the Elebaba hole, I was dressing my late brother's trouser to every change I go to Koskodo. So that so that uh at least we two and scabo in Chibuana, the Twana girl, Sadi Shemwa, Tatwa Bea Mola. Kausanu saying cloth money, wake up. Just the same trouser, go to school, Khubukana. Then later on, in the later uh, classes, and when they come back. And then, now, 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 I went to school. You know, well, in 1976, no, we were so very much inspired, some of us. Uprising. You know, Kore, uh, the world, Nekebala newspaper with my friends, the late friends of mine, and one of my cousins, Bamu Hobo, he's a lawyer now. You know, we were very much inspired in reading. Mm. Uh, 
by that time, the world doesn't necessarily the same day. Will wait the following day. Eva Joseph Iba did like the seventeen. Renaro Eva like the eighteen. But I wait for it. But we wait for it. What I gave you is that, and I know what it is. Class saying, rather the politics. In nineteen seventy six, remember we already fully conscious now. Very fully conscious. Here it's another. Here it's another nineteen seventy six. My friend Robert Tata is late. I was calling him Nelson Mandela. You know, uh, I, because of his name was Nelson. And uh, we, well, we were the first to put the Trevonia trial in 1977 in a class of Form 2B. But it came from Form 1, because we were still not that early adolescence and all that. Mm. After reading, I said, <laughs> No, by then, uniform grand. No, no, I need a four to And you know what I said? The yeah. teachers would even assault you, hit you. No, yes. Punish you for not having uniform that your yes. parents can afford. Yes. I teach a girl that I'm going to go to the box. I'm going to go to the teacher. The only teacher necessary. Ah, I'm going to go You fought at the age of four. I mean, ah, no, what's a teacher hey. when you're older? I'm going to go to the school. I know I'm going to go to the school. I'm going to go to the school. I'm going to go to the so it's high. Because I'm not going to be able to get the boots. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to get the boots. I'm not going to be able to get the boots. I'm not going to be able to get the Now, in 1976, because of that adolescent stage, there was one teacher who said, I'm not going to be able to get the boots. Plus, you believed. Like revolution, apartheid is dying. Yeah, now Ribona, we um, he was crying like me. Started to read the Bible. I first I closed the Bible. Nah, you can't plant a, a tomato, then you, you grow the sticks of matches. Hey, we laughed and we started to whistle. We started throwing. <laughs> ah, on the 17th of June, that was Mutagane. It started. Ah, that thing now. We're meeting. Oh, the, 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 the uprising. Started to mushroom in other places after. Yeah, after. This, on the 17th, we are the first at Mushagane. I was still a student of Form 1A. We class here, I was about intelligence, if you're like a scientist, like a boy, not a baratongo bala, a boy. Yeah. And then Ratsiba or I born a catcher will learn a resource. Teach, 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 teach. I got a born about two and seven another. I learned I not say another, I learned I read two, so all right. Because mm. Then we were forced to meet with the elders now. Baba Olu got the class in Jaro. Okay. He was starting to guide us. Nelson and Arab Tatabo, Malungani, Sekhrot Mane, Hulu, Dagadi Buza, and about our boys. Yeah, but let's wear a black car. I'm not going to reach you. I'm not going to change you. Not suspecting. Yeah. Hey, I remember. We live under the cloud. We get in with our guys. I can't hear you. 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 Fencing your school, the class of my Tomogita economics, Java Sadi Java Pil. They are not a good to phone Kakwa. Now fish on a boy. I write Navishman, Madame Naval Gauria Seneca, Rinaka Principal, Mamma, Lenal Alasaga Monday, Alasaga, Lila Wale, Namo, ha, who the late Sagmanu leg again, our Malaysia. Our Fisher office, yes, Charo, Charaya. The office number three, sorry. Yeah. Hi, Chabela Mahai. Hey, 
ala thoma wa zivungu vungu sikolombe suki suki de bano they were mela ma put the 18 by then no and now to bo ridile bana ba ba rutinyana or re na wa ri na mathata re na yes sikolo sa bo ya ba ri lata ka di class e ba ka eh ka mo from 2b ba tsena ba kira re bethile that thing so le bethile teki teki la ke tshe ke tshe ka track re le ha ka yona e te sikolo yeah hey shibala ba tsena nga polisala a le bua by then and then come with class in come eh ke bitse ga o se lengwana wa the former police marema bar ke ltd na tlala ba bolo a mo city culture na tsaba bolo blind wa ba 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 ne go mo tshwe yo go mo tshwe wa ba ba pile ba re no eh re tswa kwa di office re bone di take re tlo shala re nya ka di take ka mo but go na le ba shimane ba ba ngo mo ntsana le go mo setlana go mo setlana wa ba yeah ke pile ngoba <laughs> ไอ้บาร์กิมาเอ็นฮาร์ดซิบิซีโลเอ้ยฮาร์ดซิบิซีโลเอ็นเจซีเวอร์ฟิชเอ็ดโลจีเอ้ยกระดับกระดับตังก
up until those wise Mr. Mayor for the first time called me. But let's engage. Now. But let's engage. Yeah, I gotta know we need rice, you know. You wanna go seven colours, yeah. and at least the situation is started to improve. We were respected because they were sitting wise where they were called bus at school. Something that I was fighting hell because of my hatred mm -hmm. to this white man. White man not only hating him, but this supremacy that is trying to impose on us. Now it it grew from school. Then I left school. Ah, he the same company hearing that this, funded you. That funded Mune. Hearing all. Oh, we need this man by your mayor, mayor. You are going to pay us the money. You are going to give us our money for two years. You must pay back. You must pay back. We need that young man. I got it. So I Joe's in town. I got the front man late. Hello, lady. But hey, when I'm on a bow, I got to buy a company. Oh, yeah, it's it. But hey, got it. I got to come to the side. I got to buy a bow. I got to buy a bow. Hey, I'm on a car. Oh, hey, me. Hey, man. Hey, who paid up? San Jose, Panada, go, guy, guy. Okay, Western area, fine. Javel Verk. Yeah, Javel Verk. I mean, I'm a, I'm qualified in that area. I have to go and uh, perform and pay back a bit of their money. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to Three months, just in the Western area. I didn't like to stay with others. 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 Now we stay in Kompone. And then, I didn't like to stay with others. I didn't like to stay with others. I didn't like to stay with others. Yeah, <laughs> There's a white man with tattoos here. He's a carpet, I'm a carpet. Yeah. We're working on the same level. It's a spot. I want to say I'm I two minutes. I believe we to last part to the to fulfill a Yeah. Hose. Hose, I love no. More Yeah. And Pretoria North, Same company. Same company. See how when I arrived at the company. Now, I'm not a glory, Rogadi Lion, Ron, a well, I did Lion. Yeah. Fuck a Lion, Nemo, Ara City, Rembomboza, Rebel, and Latte Pinone. Umna, Umna, to get sorry, a train, a kid, a tear. Now, this guy, because he had wise people go Rosebank, Ban, and Rebel Calibon. But no man, when I will pull on a major this man. Put him out there, young. We are away. I shall remember going watch. I will come around, Venn, who's Kijamabat. 
Now things have changed. Now things have changed. Now, we need to die then, do man. Fear for the man. Fear for the man. Fear for the man. Fear for the man. Fear man. Fear for the man. Fear for the man. Fear for the man. Fear 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 man. You, you talk about change, and now because you have spoken to those white boys in Roseburg Hotel, and you think now I'm no longer a person. And a lion, I sell him on Atiku Murao. No, I sell him Murao, I better get paid for that. I don't know how long I can say. You know, a reinforced, that man, I'm not a man I got reinforced. Immediately I left Rosebank train back to Dave 10, back home. Kapala ke mereko, ya padi ya mereko. Mm. Then I came back home. Which year is it? It was in 1983 mm. when I left and came back home. Hey, come back home. I, now I'm in the civic. Automatically, I started attending civic meetings. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting now. You're I'm, vocal. I'm vocal again. It yeah. continues. Yeah. Now, in the middle of the nowhere timer, but we let's plan it out. But no man, man, you come out to that. I'm on no better regard. I want go to bath. Is Rafael Marai plus Bella Zagayo. Kino Tesh. Kino Tesh. Aha. One year down the line, close the company, take it to strike, unprotected strike. Workers on the street, kia wada. Or I know you're gonna pay the people to yeah, I got the medical aid. It was in the 84, 85, yeah, yeah. 586 now. One our rights. One our rights. I defeated them, but they defeated me because they locked us out. I'm speaking today, sing Kilebaberik Bamudim Bakre even a cent. The company closed. The company didn't close, they continued because they know that uh, the a black person will always get him constructed. You fire oh. one, you get 10. Remember, by during that time in the 80s, the level of consciousness was not well. And the supply buyer, we, you want to eat. You want to eat. Mm. And we will have a lot of uh, uh, these people who are selling out. Yeah. Uh, we had a lot of sellout. Believe me, in the 80s, 70s, every house will have a person who will, uh, will sell out the revolution. And you know, I wanted to even ask you something. Were there... Uh, a time where they try to engage you. I don't know how they will buy people. Oh, you're a man. Come, Miss Oman. That man called me. He's a queer man. No, that man called me in the in the office, and he told me about the history of my father. Your father worked this company. You know, you see how this company have grown is because of the efforts of your father was a supervisor. I'm embarrassing blah, blah, your blah, father. Blah blah, blah, blah. Don't do that. We'll give you a better salary. I said no. Munifer tell the ear. No, all of us here yeah, were working very hard. It's not me alone. Uh, by then, you know, I was highly conscious. Now. And once yeah. they separate you from but the my people, workers, I, no, mm. the reason why we were fired, all of us, we we said, rather we die of hunger rather than to obey to this uh, white master. Mm. Up until, you know, uh, the early 90s now, when the, the movement was unbanned, the ANC, yeah. I was, uh, I'm a trade unionist by, by nature. Mm. And uh, I've been, you know, at the forefront of workers' challenges and uh, the demands. I was working tirelessly for workers and the community too. Yeah. But uh, the ANC, because of that tripartite alliance relationship, uh, they identified me as an organizer. Indeed, I made terrible inroads in the villages, in the mm. chiefs, mentored by old men of the ANC. I worked with the Rivonia trialist myself, and I was mentored by about five old men at a go, and uh, making sure that uh, I do the correct thing. Mm. You see, I, I must be respectful. I must, you know, they... they they, they are were, shaping they you shape now. me, yeah. you know, Untatepala, Utiti Chulo, General Ike Mapoto. Those are old men who, Mark Shope, 
Those are men in dough. Those are men that... And remember, are, they see potential in you. Yes. They're like, let's shape this one. Yes, yeah. yes. And the, the old men, they were not uh, tired of me. Even if I was always making mistakes, and my mistakes was like radicalism. Yeah. You know, you know when, for instance, going to the chiefs, then I can see that this chief, man, is a counter-revolutionary, you know, that thing. And they, they no, 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 no. I've played cool. Negotiate with these people. You understand? And, uh, persuade them. Persuade them. Yeah. But, you know, when they left me with the work, things started to be otherwise. You know, we have to face life alone. They were old. The, the majority of them, I was still at the early 30s by the early 90s. Yeah. Because I became the mayor at the age of 32. And, uh, but what molded me is this old man also. That's, that's, that's 94. That's 1991, I became the organizer. Until mm. 1994, I became the mayor. At 32. At 32. And uh, wow. I know, yeah, I know, indeed. And leading men and women, highly educated men and women. Wow. And uh, I don't know where did I receive that wisdom, but God gave me at that age. Because you see, I was. I don't know, age, I was uh, I, even now, we still struggle to find the cream at that age. Yeah. Who can lead such an institution? Yeah, but no, I led the city at that age. And uh, I, indeed, uh, I, I learned through the African-speaking men. The, you, the, keep on about the uh, city. The do, division were managers. Dominant, uh -huh, keep on. Keep on. Yeah. And now, these others, you know, the English are sorry, Irm Zalagar. Mm. Hey, 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 for us to cross that hassle of rates and taxes. Yeah. And remember, I was new in the system. But something behind my mind was to say, you know, there's development here. And there's no development there. You in town, we can't afford to pay similar rates like you. Now the consciousness starts. Yeah, I said no. It's not going to work. Up until we develop that area, then we'll, we can be equal. Why CCO started to be developed very fast during my tenure? It was because of that strategy. We took out all asbestos uh, pipes of mm. water, the tie roads uh, there, others uh, were installed by Green Acre. But when I came in, I remember I even installed robots, if you remember. Mm. It was the first robot in Seychelles. The roads started to be well. It was celebrated. We celebrated by then. You see, because there were a lot of accidents there. Mm. Yeah, but uh, it was not delivered per se. The delivery that we wanted is the one of water. And uh, inf our infrastructure was tops. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, the term ended over and mm. went back to the movement again. Mm. I didn't leave the movement. I in the structures of the ANC. The structures of the ANC. I mm. remained there up until we came back. Uh, you know, because in the ANC, it's still there, that thing. Yeah, when when you, you are seen to be somebody who can be able to resolve many things like you are a champion, like they don't like such a person. Jealous. Yeah, they'll cut you off like me. Yeah, I remember one... In 2006, Tabombegi was here. And, uh, you know, I contested. I was with Soviet, yeah. We contested from chairperson until last additional member walloped. Standing. Yeah, one way. They were knowing that. Are you still there? I'm yes, available. I'm, I'm available. Yes, I'm available. <laughs> walloped. You know, to show us that we have been well walloped, yeah. uh, they call Tabombeik now, because I think to now we are the faction. Mm. They were the faction and Tabombeik. When he left the stage, I was sitting at the back. 
he came to me straight to give me a, a so, that will beat you, young yeah, man. Yeah. I said, no, fine, we'll come back. I, and we came back, chief. I, in 2008, we started, you know, because we believe in conscientizing our people hmm. and make sure that we speak politics. That's, that's key. And even today, still remaining with us. Hmm. We can challenge us with everything. But when we come and, you know, unpack the politics of South Africa, international politics, you'll understand as if these people have been trained in a very a Sussex or Harvard University. And understanding groundwork. And understanding the plight of our people. That is key. If you can be able to, you know, to have that heartbeat that goes along with the aspirations of our people, uh, then you are a winner. Mm. You, you don't have to undermine each and every little need of our people. Respect it. Follow up on it. 2008? <clears throat> 2008, hey, we came, chief. And uh, now we prepared the ground. I became the chairperson. I remember, it's for the second time. I've been way. the chairperson of the ANC. That's a long way. Yeah, three times. I said, now they're no longer going to take me out now. I'm going to make sure that I build branches, membership. Mm. I they came in 2012. They tried to contest. I wallowed them. It's then when they said, I ah, now remember by that time, they uh, fired uh, uh, the commander in chief, uh, Julius Madem. You know, from 2011, because I was the chairperson by then. Mm. And this thing of economic freedom in our lifetime. It started in 2011, and it started by the Youth League. And the Youth League influenced the Pitamu Kaba region, mm. which I was leading. You understood it and captured it. I understood it. it from the level. You know, remember in the past, you were talking at schools, we say, no financial accessibility and what, what. But now we started to understand it in bigger terms to say, hey man, this thing is not only about financial accessibility, it's no. about economic freedom. And when the Youth League raised the matter in 2011 at the National General Council, mm. my region and other regions, you, you, you we said we are going for it. But this book, go wrong one, it's a teacher, I would have a manual. Oh, that's <coughs> where they started to mark you. Yes. Yeah. I remember, you know, I didn't, yeah, I didn't complete the entire conference of the NGC. I was thrown with bottles by KZN guys. This uh, guy called Mato told me that Emre. You don't run a yeah. Then I came back home. I can't trust this. You lie. Say they, they will kill you. And my boy said, Emre, are you? And I yep, came back home. Great. Yeah, and they will kill you. Fine, now they fired uh, the CIC because some of us, when they, they said he must not stand, mm. I nominated him, say he must become the PE. Member to defy the whole thing, defy the whole thing that you see. He said, mm, No getting, yeah. Hey, they fired them and they're outside now. <laughs> but by then, that's when you were the mayor CDM. Ne? I was the mayor CDM, yeah. Now, and uh, you know, it's, it's my guy, I raised him from the age of nine. Yeah. I can't, you know, leave him to You've grow. seen him grow, you've I've seen him, seen him grow yeah. behind my back. And now today, these people, they send this young man to, to the dogs. The only thing he knows is the NC. Uh, he knows nothing. Where do you want him to go? It's me who knows better that, what are you doing? I nominated him. I defied everything. Assistant, I, I said no. I would rather. I even employed uh, uh, the mother of the Ratanang. He mm. said, no ways. It can't be. We can't let this boy you suffer. Can't su you can't do it. Uh -huh. I don't think it's slam. I said, I'm not going anyway. I'll, I'll die here in the NC. Nah, yeah. hmm. No, he die here in the NC. Chief. And, and, and it's what I wanted to get to. Yeah. Because remember, your politics are also shaped by the NC. Mm. And also the love for the NC. Yeah. And hope for the NC. Because I wanted to check what the decision, because I remember there's a year EFF was contesting mm. and you were in the ANC. Mm. Uh, remember, we went to TAF, man, together, mm. getting t-shirts, moving. Yeah, yeah. I think it was not easy. It was it's not an easy decision for no. you to leave the ANC. Mm. There must be something pressing that you went like, now I can't take it anymore. It came into fold. Mm. 
you know, you, you are pushed to a corner. And, but at the same time, let me tell you here yeah, to say it took me <coughs> almost <coughs> seven years to take a decision. Yeah, you stayed. But, you know, I said, I'm going to take a decision. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to stay. First, because you see, when you are a real revolutionary, you'll see that the ANC was not meant to govern. The ANC was meant to liberate the country it ends there. Mm. The ANC doesn't have an ideology. To, to govern and to, take it does. It, the ANC doesn't have any ideology. It has done its job. It has done its job to liberate. You mm. can ask even Wuzo, Lian Ambegi can tell you, Libona, this yellow communist of uh, Bublade in Zima, they know that the socialism that they are calling, they are calling it where? In the ANC. So there was no clear plans on how do we move after we take over? No. It's, it's just here. A, it's just a, to say we are going to we have constitutional democracy. No. We are a socialist party working toward communism. Mm -hmm. Very clear. Look. Excuse me? It's the issue of this thing. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, we're going to cut it nicely. <coughs> yeah. Now, look, L let me say this first. Mm. And I, I think it needs us to unpack it from the, the initial stage of a revolution. It's, I, I would say it's not a revolution per se of the mm. ANC. Uh, the ANC, when it went out, to mobilize the outside country to say, let's isolate the apartheid regime mm. through Tambo. Uh, uh, mm. uh, the ANC went to the west, went to London, went to the east. Okay? They had, I would say, a group of friends, both in the socialist bloc, and both those that were called liberal democrats. Oh, some were trained in, trained in Russia, Ukraine, you, you were, know, I, I, were, others, Soviet Union. Soviet, others were and in... Others, they were in London having in London. nice dinners, learning yeah, their etiquette. Absolutely. Now, but now, when you... The two opposing within one port, that's Mbegis, that's Joe Slovos, that's everything. I, I, it's no, no, making no, sense now. No, no, good. I, I need to, to, to yeah. study there. So that we shouldn't be confused. Oh, yeah. You know, now, these two, the, these are the socialist bloc. Bumos is my beater. You know, there was hell of communists. And the Bumbeki, it's not a communist. It's a, it's, 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 it's a liberal child democracy. of a liberal yeah. democratic uh, dispensation from London. That's why the policies... You know, the policies will never be Afrocentric will always be dominated by the European flair in everything that they do. Now, coming to the issue of uh, the theory, which I think uh, the doctor is saying about. You know, let me just say it simple. There was no communism in the ANC and mm. even in the Communist Party. You know, you can't come and tell me that you speak of that socialist theory without practicing it. It's empty. Every conference, they will need a paper from South African Communist Party. Every conference, they will come and table it. And they will all agree that socialist, a socialism is the future. Where is it? The socialism. Now. They sing about it. Let's go to the ANC. Why the ANC still speaks of market? You know, the market-related is the ANC and DA. Mm. Mm. The ANC mm. was not... You know, let me tell you. Who made the ANC in 1985 in Lusaka? No Koronov, no Big Water, no uh, any other politician of the Nationalist Party by then who went to Lusaka 
and met with Mutambo and Wu Krisan and others. Who went there? Big five, business people. The, the fate of this country was discussed between the ANC and the capitalists. Rich five white men. Rich five, you know them. Now, you, you come and tell me here, sit at and say the ANC was ready to govern. Even Mandela said it. They were not ready to govern. He's there. He didn't lie. They were not ready to govern. The only hope is not to say I propagate the EFF, but that's the only hope to say the only way to resolve the challenges of this country, which are deep rooted, is through socialism. Mm. Mm. Simple thing. What is socialism? Because people they think socialism is something that will kill the whites and all that. No, it also assist them. Their future children will live in peace mm. if we all agree that socialism is the future and the EFF indeed is on the right path. Now, people like Bujo Slovo, Chief, what, what, something that I don't understand if we are really, we love ourselves as blacks. Mm. You remember the houses that Joe Slovo was building for our own people? Go and check in the archives. Wood and soil mixing himself, saying our people must stay in the. So, you say this man is a, is a, is a, a socialist. Eh? Yeah? That white man ridiculing our own people is there in the archives. Then you tell me he's a communist. What can it's not a communist in practice? They've been planted this white here, man. <laughs> Nothing else to speak big English. Ne negation of negation. They, uh, no, man. We are not there. We need to make sure that our people emerges from where they are and become the real owners of the economy. Let's talk the politics of the EFF. Now, uh, I think we maybe even giving too much airtime to the ANC. And you came here wearing a huh? beautiful beret. No, it, it, it will dominate it. <laughs> the, the EFF is known for its radical stance on economic policies. Uh, can you expl explain maybe key economic reforms the party advocates for and why it's necessary? And also narrow it down to the province. Oh, good. What you think should happen? Firstly, let's, let's correct one thing. Mm. You know, there's no radicalism. That's mm. a relevancy of, of, of our policies. Mm, mm. You know, when you speak of industrialization, it's very clear you understand that where their minds mm. will be able to create factories to manufacture what we are digging mm. from our own soil. Mm. That it explains us very clear. When you speak of land, because land is carries everything, yes, indeed, we are going to take over land without any send to anybody. I mean, people are lying here. When I was from Waterbay, now, today, you drive for more than 200 k's. You know, it's a farm. Left and right. Uh, if it was up, it was going to be in heaven. If there was land up, <coughs> the it was going to be there. Yeah. Now, you ask yourself, our people are cramped. Net da bomb, da komo hopo, are cramped. Just next door, them. Very vast land, but staying in 350 square meter. Our well, like people. It's, it's, it's open land, then Mkhopong, which is. Go and see, look at it. Another open I'm land. I'm not speaking something that you don't know. You can't even see a human being there. Yep. No body, no fence. Even now, there's no fence alone, N1. It's not safe, but our people are crammed there. Our people must go and occupy that place and start doing hectare, hectare. Okay, I agree. Yeah, you must have a, a land. Mm. Now, that's the second thing. One other thing, which is quite practical. You know, you speak of tenders. The people, they think we, we are going to kill this small and tender. There's no tenders. But imagine you are going to buy 300 milliliter of water. 
three times the amount because of the service provider. Toilet paper. Again, here is my poor. You are giving him a tender of IT of 250 million. And Mapolo doesn't have any certificate of IT, yeah? Una le this thing yale nai, why do you call it? Uh just see bro. The And the, the only thing IT about him is the name of the company. Company. What the what CC. IT solutions? Ah, That's the only IT I thing. I can't even open my email, Marai. IT solution company. And but when you can go and and because I've done it. When before I left. This uh, municipality, district, mm. I was starting to, to uh, capture the names of each and every postgraduate. This site is water and sanitation, lawyers, wah, 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 wah. Mm. You know, because I was going to cut the budget, for instance, capital budget of infrastructure on water and sanitation. It's very easy. Very easy. We employ kids who are qualified in that field and they share the same budget. And I'm telling you, that is practical. Here in Polokwane, I'm going to ask you to say, how many lawyers do you have? And upon those lawyers, go to the municipalities, go to the department, how many cases do we have that these lawyers can preside over those cases in municipalities Disciplinary hearings and blah blah. Then you appoint, a legal, you appoint a legal firm. Ah, uh, Fantonaire. A legal firm. But you are sitting here. That's the EFF for you. Give us chance on uh, the 29th. Uh, uh, when, uh, when, when we say this, we mean it. We can reduce unemployment in a split second. Hmm. That, that's for sure. It's an, just a typical example to say if you've got students of water and sanitation, with a, a 350 million, it's, it's annual. That's every financial year you add. And at the same time, you know, you are bringing in scientists to them. So, so it means when you were a mayor, you were conflicted in giving those huge contracts. Uh, yeah, you know, I said, I said it. No, I was supposed to. I was going that direction. My problem in Garia Papa, you see, Tabi Sokotani you know, called me, mm. trying to understand what I'm trying to do. And they listened to it. Mm. A detender premier. But hey! But that debit is going to kill us. You hear what he says? He says it's on the and on the data base is still there. I was wow. going to do it. The power of the cancel. But, you know, I realized that I, they were going to fire me. Mm. But I was going to do it. I was going to make sure that if the budget of infrastructure is a billion, at least I would say for a start, let's get 30%. We face it out. We face it out. Up until we do our way with tenders. So you are saying, instead of appointing an engineering consulting company that you pump millions, you can employ 10 competent... Yes. Civil engineers. Yes. In-house. In-house. They do the job. No, look, let me tell you. Useless government. You say somebody must go and draft a document to build a preschool. A preschool, you give a consultant and go and check the amounts how much consultant are paid. Just a building, a building. with the hmm? windows. Hmm? And there must be a consultant who come and say, you're coming all right. Uh -huh. Now, but you've got, you know, when I was there, I employed three registered engineers. What I said is that nobody is going to craft a document outside this. You, you went to school. Yo, yo. You went to school. The reason why I employed the three of you, I employed two CAs. You want us to get someone again from outside? From outside and coming. You, what, what are you here for? Hey, I, before I became a mayor, executive mayor of district, I was an employee. I was working in the building section. I know everything there. Go and wrap that thing. Should I go out even during my mayor 
and get somebody to do things that I've done during my employee period. No. Things are starting to change. Now, unfortunately, because we're in a capitalist state, mm. and, the, you know, like I said in the beginning, the ANC is not, it was never negotiating with politicians. It negotiated with mm. business people. The reason you find ourselves in this juncture is because it was not ready. Hmm. Now, the only way now, marching forward to the future, for instance, I was still going to explain to you what made me to change my mind. Mm. Firstly, I was punished by individuals within the ANC. Mm. Uh, You're victimized. Heavily. Harshly, chief. I remember at one stage, you know, I was deployed to Mafike. And that time, my wife, she had a, a terrible uh, operation. You know, I was moving between Mafike and Polukwane every two days. No driver. Yeah, I was driving, chief. Yeah. And uh, these guys, we started not to get money. I was not worried uh, to say we are not paid. But after people were paid, I was not paid for almost six Still. months. Still, for me to come back home, I have to go and uh, ask people money to go into a big machine and come back home. But I didn't say I go, I'll go. I came back home. Um Balola see me say, this old man, this young man, Urana is an old man. Yeah? He forget that uh, he was crying to me. I go up from Gua. Now he says I'm an old man. I'm not fit to come and work for the movement. I said no, fine. I left him, but I didn't take it. Uh, mm. I go. I went back home. Go back to my branch work. You know, I worked up until 20. I was supposed to leave 2020. I worked because I was the chairperson of the branch of the. Yes, ADS. I remember that. Yeah. And I said I'm not going to be a coward, chief. I'm not a coward. I worked. My Kamupilung, Kili EFF. Mm. But I said, I'm not just going to leave. Let me deliver. And I'm not going to sabotage anything. I believe me, never sub I delivered a counselor there. That is it. After three months, go on. Bye bye. Bye bye. Because, you know, by then, it is unfortunate. The ANC doesn't have leaders, chief, now. The opportunistic element, the facts. Everything now is there. The ANC, whether they like it or not, it will never be the ANC again. If you were to give uh, just an overall explanation of what's happening with the EFF on the ground right now, particularly in Limpopo province, how would you face it? How are you looking uh, uh, without looking at uh, what we see on social media that Kind of dwindling support report, Buyeli Kaya, what, what? How, how, how can you say? How does the EFF look? You, know, you, are, you are speaking to a relevant person. I was uh, tasked in the in the movement to deal with elections. Mm. You know those the Buyeli Kaya. You know they left the EFF. Uh, that I think it, it was the intention. Mm. Because the EFF in 2016, it had many seats. Come 2019, it dropped. Oh, it declined. It declined. During their term. And when, when they are high. taken to task. Yeah, when they are taken to task, they are running away. And the majority of those that have been fired, they are lazy. From I'm saying you, go and check the stats. 2019. Mm. It went down. We lost close to 26, if not 25. Seats. Seats. In the province. Now, here, a person say, uh, in the Buela Kaya, meanwhile, we have seen, we have done a mess. He wants to kill this hope of Ubuela the people. Nanikai. Ubuela Nanikai. Because the same people that Ubuela and Bonakaya are the same people that we rejected. And because we got, believe, we got 193. From 200,000 plus to 193,000 under the Buele Kaya leadership, what are you trying to say? Come 29th, 
come the 29th, we're going to double that. The ground is red. It's fertile. The ground is red. We are not people of the social media and all that. We are on the ground. We are on the... Have you seen yesterday in Polokwane? Mm. You have seen today what's happening in Mokopo. Today, the mayor of Mokopo Mo, 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 was having a, a meeting elsewhere from his branch where I visited at one stage. I walloped him. I filled the hall at his own place. Today, he called the meeting. Nobody was there. I called the meeting at uh, Parame. It was full with the secretary general of the EFN. Now, you see, people, they can say whatever they say. The EFF in the province is going to make a huge impact. Mm. From 193,000 that was brought by this Buele Kaya, believe me, come the 29th, we're going to double 200,000. And I don't speak of those that are angry. Mm. We are speaking to them. They are our friends. We can expose Inside. them. Inside. They are with you. They are with us. I'm saying they are wearing the red. With, these people. They are wearing red, the red inside their head. Oh. They don't like to expose it. They are our friends, and I love them. <laughs> and others are saying, "Please prepare space for us." We are coming home. We are coming home. I said, "It's your home." The revolutionary the home. The president know you, all of you. The majority of you know Big him. Politics are tricky, man. And I'm saying the truth. <sighs> you are going to see with numbers. To say the majority, they are tired. They're just staying there. Hey man. Or the queue can see me. You are going to see through numbers. And they can't update on social media no, and say no, they no, can't no, do no, that. No, 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 no. I'm speaking of real men. Yeah. Who speak to me? And not anybody, me. To say him right. Chief, don't forget us. Don't forget us. Don't don't please don't close doors. I say I will never. You are going to see with numbers, Chief. Hey. They're cowards. I know. They're going to kill that thing while they're still inside. Come the 29th, I'm here telling you that the Buela Kayas, they gave us more energy to go and work. At that I'm certain. I'm working with numbers. I've been given the responsibility to, to head elections here in the Indian Pop. They are signing that thing on door to door. You are. You are seeing them. You are seeing them. I'm capturing. I, I can tell you the figures. I can't tell you. It's still my secret. The reason why I'm happy. Because what I've captured today, when I, when I looked at them, I was saying before I come here, I said, eh, this thing is possible. This thing is possible. And believe me, when we are going to go out, much as we don't want this thing of MECs and... Uh, Premiers, you must do away with these things. Mm. We don't want them as mm. the EFF. Because we still spend a lot of money. Remember, MEC is saving driver and what, what, and doing nothing. Eh? When, when there are potholes, he won't be there. It's only counselor. Unlimited garage cut. Here, <laughs> Marobalo, business class. Flying. For what? Sleeping. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, we don't want these MECs. We need only local government and the national government. And the rest of the money, we're going to take our children to school for free. For free. Now, here are men and women. They think, I know them. I've been in the ANC. We've been asking them, hey, wait. In can we recognize the total for this coming five years fera? That's what they are in the ANC. I'm saying this, I can name them and shame them. That they, they forget about the liberation of our people. They think they are in unemployment. So in uh -uh. five years. So that he should it all. Uh. Another five years so that we can take over the land. Uh -uh. For the Tolo Jack. Then you tell yourself that the ANC is leading it. The majority have left them there, man. They, they, are not, they are not politicians, they are not activists. They've been carried from the home who are still trying to nurture them. I've left them. All of them. 
We are the first people to launch branches here of the ANC. Nobody can tell me. All of them. Mm. We, we have taught them, but it, they know nothing. Like let me go on that, Chief. We are a mining province, Limpopo. Uh, we've got a lot of mining uh, companies and resources. Uh, also, as the EFF, anything that is tailored directly to 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 deal with issues of mining in the province. It's very clear. Uh, let me just put an example. Sikukuli. Mm. That Sikukuli, there will be industries in every corner. No mineral will go out of the country. It will be processed in Sikukuli. It must be processed there by the locals. I mean, it doesn't need any explanation to say this is our minerals. In my simple DJ mind, that that will be huge economically. Yeah. The reason why we can't build cities is because the majority of the bulk of the mine is going outside. The profit is going. Just yesterday, I was driving from Skukune. When you look at that place, Chief, you can cry tears. In the evening, don't think there are formal, you know, mining going on. Mm -mm. The, the marchers that are fighting these Zamazamas, they are the Zamazamas themselves. The fighters of the Zamazamas. No, the, 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 these ANC leaders, yeah. they are the real Zamazamas because their cars are escorted in the evening. And nobody can inspect their cars. No. Nobody. In, fact, in fact, they know they are the ones who inspect. Yeah. They, they, they can leave other cars not inspect because it's their cars. No. They are blue. A man with blue. Mm. Can you fall from home? So this two, hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 minister, mama, I feel it. Eh. <gasps> it will look wrong, eh, Gaga? Now you tell me that these people are ready to, to lead us. Why they are, they, are, they, are, they are stealing? Today you speak of Load shading is, is, is finished. Load shading. I say fair. They are burning diesel. And this diesel that they are, they are burning, those that are, are tenderpreneurs to that diesel, they give the ANC money for elections now. Billions. Now, as I speak right now, we are now able to come beyond. We are going to pay for, for, for what is happening now. Because by that time now, oh, these independent power producers now, mm. it's them that are assisting the ANC to keep the lights on now. But by the way, it's a lot. These are independent power producers. These are others with diesel today. We're not right, we're going to see load shedding if it is. We're going to feel it. But they must allow us three days, four days to analyze the, the polls, you know, as the results are coming in. But not for chance, you know. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> <They> <laughs> don't don't be... We will allow. No, you, you don't have that time. Mm. Because... They are busy, these guys. We are in a battle. Yes, we know, as the EFF, that we are fighting a very big monster, the West. We are not fighting this Ramapos. It's nothing, man. This uh, Bumotepe, they're nothing. Mm. They're the real dogs who are there to make sure that the, the economy of this country remains skewed the way it is. The land of our forefathers remain in the hands of the whites. Remember that, you know, a white man is staying alone in a farm, mm. but the line of electricity jump over a village or jump over a township, going to touch Yani there, staying with his only two daughters and a boy and a, woman and a wife, flashy and having lights. When I'm Taraswama and I'm now, here is a white man staying alone. What flash? We're now flash. But you tell me after 30 years, after 30 years, when you say you are enjoying democracy, what democracy? Because what I see, the face of men in South Africa. I see hobos produced by the ANC. When I see the young kids in the street of South Africa, I see Nyaupe boys produced by the ANC. 
When you go home, you get a woman depressed. Why this woman is depressed? My, my husband is never back home. He's there in Excelsior Street in Polokwane, sleeping with plastics because he can't come back home. He failed to collect more, more, more things. He can't go back home. He must wait first. I collect more things so that he can buy bread or buy millimeter for his people. That's the ANC, the kind of men that they've produced. I'm telling you, anything that the ANC touches, it collapsed. Whether you like it or not, go to hell. Wake up tomorrow. If you want to do something, tomorrow is Monday. Go to Petersburg Hospital. Just wake up at around 5 o'clock. You're going to cry tears. And you tell me that the ANC is governing. What kind of health system is this from? The same NHA that we're talking about, electioneering. It will be implemented after 30 years. Then we don't have to wait for another 30 years for our people to die. We should remove the ANC out of power, put people who are ready to govern. We are, we are, we are governing even if we have not yet formally been elected. Mm -hmm. In areas where we are, we make sure that our people have water. You know, I think you will come back here. I would love to discuss issues of moral regeneration, issues of culture. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot we're going to learn from you as mm -hmm. a podcaster. And we also appreciate that you came to this podcast. We're still young, fairly young. And I think you, you, you are a giant to, 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 to actually allow yourself to be part of us. But I want you to look at this camera. Some of us, we're not sure what we're going to vote for. Uh, just tell the viewers why they should vote for the PF. I'm, I'm saying this with the love of my people, all South Africans, to say this is an opportune moment to change the landscape, political landscape of South Africa. There's only one, only one party which will be able to move out of this challenges of unemployment, challenges of load shedding, no land. We are saying it as the EFF, vote for the EFF, you are voting for the future of your children. Even if you feel you are old, please go and vote for the EFF because we need to tell you one thing, even if you are dead, we'll carry your bones, we'll carry your spirit, the other side of Jordan, where we'll be celebrating economic freedom in our lifetime. EFF is the future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey, Lequil, uh, thanks to Mabota Pub Productions. Thanks to my producer, Dr. Mabota. I'm the only <laughs> podcaster with a producer with a PhD doctor. And uh, Styles and States, Mapito, uh, for making sure that things are going smooth. And thank you for listening and subscribing and liking just talk with DJ Cappuccino. Just talk with DJ Cappuccino.